So I got an email from one of my supporters and this is a very interesting email and I wanted to share this with you guys because this is a great learning experience. So I'm gonna read all of the emails that he sent me and we're gonna go through it because you better not ever do this. Do not ever send this text message to any girl. He says, hey, what's up, Zay? I bought your texting and vetting programs. So I hope you read this email. I don't want you to feel obligated, nor do I want to feel entitled, but I want to ask you what I did wrong in the situation. I met this girl at my job. She was hosting a wine tasting. But anyway, I was chit-chatting her up and I was asking her questions. I made up some questions as well, like you said, and he's talking about my vetting her to the core audio program. We was chatting and she was letting me fill up on her and when I was talking dirty to her she was laughing she was like oh so you bad we was talking and she ended up telling me she had a threesome and we was just talking and vibing long story short I asked her we should chill sometime to get to get something to eat wrong but I think on my part I was being impatient because I feel like I could have had with her. By the way, she was single and just came out of a relationship two months ago. I was not going to take her serious like you said. I want to hear what you would have done. So he ends up sending me the screenshots of the conversations that he had with this girl. And I'm going to have them somewhere up here so you guys can, you know, see and read along. I'm going to X out the girl's number, but I will X out the girl's number for him. So this is the first message he said. He said, what's up, new friend? I fell out. I, no, wait. Wait, is this him? Oh, yeah, he's like, what's up, new friend? I see you like this after drinks and food, a body like that. <laughs> I know you eat your rice and cabbage. Laugh out loud. And then he sends a picture of her in a bikini. And boy, is that <laughs> fat. Ooh, shit. Man, we're going to blur her face out. She said, my favorite sport is eating. Yeah, eating up this mother dingo, this and he was like, laugh out loud, I see, that shit heavy. I mean, me personally, I'm not sending no girl, no picture of herself and, you know, commenting on it and shit like that. Not through no text. If I like a girl, shit, I'm going to tell her in person. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that was the first one. The second one is, okay, what's up, friend? Enjoy your 4th of July. We leak Saturday after your wine texting. She just texts. She says, text. He said, just wanted to check in if you still good Saturday. She said, yeah, Saturday is still good. And this, he checked it on Wednesday, which is a, which is a no-go. You know what I'm saying? If you check in, you check in. If you go check in with a girl, you check in the day of the date, like that morning. You know, Saturday that day, yo, we, we still good for Saturday. Then he says, what's up, miss? I don't know what that, what the f that is. Meet me at two pays around 9 p.m. So I'm guessing this is Saturday. She said, I get off at 9. I could do 9.30. He said, all right, cool. She said, okay, so I'll let you know when I'm about to leave. And okay, he gave the the place where they're supposed to be meeting up. And it looked like he's from my city because I know that street. She said, okay, no problem. I'll see you there. This is where he f***s up. He says, hey, I want you to come back to my crib after we finish eating. You cool with that? No, 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 he said so he further he goes on to say I don't want you to feel obligated or uncomfortable into coming if I ask you during that ask you during that's why I wanted to ask you now we had a good convo we was vibing when you was at the shop but I mean at the end of the day it's up to you dog fellas this is a learning experience right here this is where you f at. if you just want to smash a girl you don't fucking take her on a date to try to smash her that's some beta male simp if you want to smash her you face your date with her as a facetime call and that is it once you find out you're not taking this girl seriously and she's not a dating girl that is it you be like you get her on facetime a couple times if one time if you get her over I mean, if you facetime her one time and you able to get her over or a couple times you don't facetime and then you order her ass over like amazon that's it you don't fucking take a girl out on a date that you're trying to smash that's that's beta male shit. you're trying to buy her she texts back and says hmm okay no no she says hey i understand but i don't think that would be possible i'm going somewhere after he then furthermore f***s up again and says hmm okay you want to set up for another time because i was trying to get explicit with you and plus you are a cool person to be around fellas no no she furthermore says i'm not that type of girl this is what you want from me it don't work like that for me i don't go out in exchange for I can pay for my own food and since that's obviously what you want which is fine that's okay but i'm here to let you know i'm not an impulsive person i have my head on straight and i'm a businesswoman he furthermore goes and says food for 
No, nah, I didn't say that. I like talking to you, and you're a funny person. Then you should have just invited her over to your fucking house. You should have never tried to take this girl on a fucking date. You know, cause why else would she think that she think that you're trying to get her for food? For That's what she thinks, and she's right to think that. Not before, not after no fucking date. You say no like that. And if you do go that route, which is the the most beta fucking route you can do, you do that on the date after y'all get vibing and y'all touching and the things is going right. Then you invite her to your house man what was the point of going what the fuck is the point of going on a date and spending money for it if all you was trying to do is smash what, what would be the point of that especially if you already know she's that type of girl what would be the point of going on a date to talk you can talk at your house she said honestly in my opinion a man who respects me would never ask that question you don't gotta bring me out just to try to have exactly all i'm saying is you can be straight as an arrow with me if you want to hang out because i'm cool that's cool and i'm even cool with it she says i'm even cool with splitting the bills because i'm not a person who want to make people feel like they they're being used i'm not easy i'm not trying to get explicit no not on the first day i'm single not a hoe she said we don't gotta set up nothing for another day she already knows and she's right now nah, she's trying to backtrack oh no this is not food for for this is just like wanna hang out. No, 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 it ain't, bro. This girl is smart. You, you, you think these girls are He says, never said you was a hoe. I just wanted you to come back to my place after we finished eating. Splitting the bills, I wasn't even going to ask you to pay. I didn't think you was a hoe. She says, enjoy your day. He goes furthermore and says, and he fucks up even for what? This is the fifth, the third, the sixth? I don't even know. He says, you told me you had a threesome. I know we're... We're even thought of, you know. Also, fellas, make sure when y'all texting these fucking women, you are rereading your text messages and you're actually sounding like a smart, intelligent human being. Because texting like this, you look like a imbecile and adultish person. You told me you had a threesome. I know we're even thought of you. He said, I don't, I didn't even think of you as a whole. That's what he meant to say. Just a person who was spontaneous. But I mean, if you're not trying to link with me, I understand. I still think you're a cool person. She says, yeah, I did. And that don't mean I walk around with my mouth open trying to catch every that walks by me having a threesome with my friends don't got nothing to do with anything like i said i'm single she asked me and i said okay and then he, he goes on now he, now they're just in this this loop of just going back and forth this is over like you, you're not getting the cupcake dog you're not getting the punani bro you fucked it all the way up he says okay but don't try to chastise me for asking you to come to my crib i like vibing with you i don't want you to be mad at me all day still meet me at tope see now this is this is where you up again dog because you just tried to use this threesome that she told you about as a way to weaponize her ass to come over and try to sleep with you which is some more simp beta male shit. you don't use that's the shit a woman would do you don't use what she told you as a way to weaponize it against her and then you already weaponized it against her because you know you was at the party you was touching on her you was feeling her, you was talking dirty to her so you already seen her in this way and you know that she's a girl that just got out of a, a relationship so she more than likely looking for a rebound but you don't put that shit in her fucking face that's 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 a rookie mistake man and it just gets it just gets crazier and crazier i don't even know if i should keep going but i'm gonna keep going she says i'm not assuming you are though end of story more of a story is please don't expect me to do things that is not something i'm comfortable with yet and on top of that don't reschedule me because i'm not convenient enough for you that's why you don't gotta worry about rescheduling i'm a busy woman and she's right about that you don't because now you wanted to take her on a date and then she said that she can't come after and then now you're trying to reschedule. Because basically what, what you were trying to do is you were trying to hope that this date and buying her some food was going to get her to your crib. When all you had to do was use your game and FaceTime her to get to your crib. But you tried to use this food and this date as a way to get her to your crib. Doesn't work like that. He says rescheduling you. I was trying to ask you when will your availability be to reschedule. And yeah, I know you are busy. You are a busy woman. You got like two contacts while you was here for your makeup because you're good and people like it and honestly i can't even read this fast because if i read it fast honestly i thought you were comfortable with me that's why i asked for you to come back to my place we actually connected those few days you were here i wasn't really trying to make you feel a type of wake what i'm not gonna say her name and assuming yeah i thought you were mad because i asked i don't know it's like i felt the energy if that makes sense i'm trying to make it like why you don't like it when it's capped oh this is something else i guess no okay yeah this is something else okay so 
So I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I said to him. It says, I see exactly where you messed up. One, you never take a bitch on a date that you just want to smash. If she was letting you do all of that, you should have tried to fuck her that date. And if that didn't work, then you invite her over for Netflix and chill. You know what I'm saying? He, I says, two, when you take a woman on a date, you don't ask her before the day of the date to come to your house. That's a rookie mistake. It looks like you're trying to use a meal as a way to lure her to your crib. Then I said, if you listen to my vetting to her to the core audio program, you would know that was a girl not to take seriously. You would know not to take her on a date and you would know to do a FaceTime call and order her over to your house like a pizza. I, I literally teach that in my, in my program. And I said three, you never try to weaponize her telling you she had a threesome as a way to get in her pants. Cause now she can't trust you ever again telling you some because you're going to try to use it as a way to get that you want. You try to manipulate her with this. You don't do that. But like I said, it's probably guy. This is rookie mistakes, man. I said chalk this one up as a learning experience and listen to the program more than once. See, when you can't get nothing out of my programs if you don't listen to them more than once. You can't get nothing out of me teaching you anything if you only listen to it one time because you're gonna listen to it and you're gonna forget it, dog. You don't remember anything or you don't learn anything without repetition. You know what I'm saying? You did not know your name because somebody told it to you once. Somebody told you over and over and over. You didn't learn the English language because you heard it one time. You heard it over and over and over again this is how programming works this is how paradigms are, are made habits all of that by listening to it more than once so if he would listen to more than once he would have knew not to do this he would have been he could have easily and that girl got the cake on her he could have easily smashed this girl he texts back and says i can't hold you i definitely tried f***ing her that day but with inexperience and a little lack of confidence i failed it's crazy because i really didn't know i was even capable of seducing a woman because that's what my program does my boy you know what i'm saying and then he said i just gotta change my mindset and yeah i'm gonna chalk this one up as a lesson i know now i'm capable of creating the opportunity again and i'm going to listen to the program again and again like but thanks for responding so yeah fellas hopefully that was a good learning experience for you guys because yeah you don't if you're gonna take a girl on a date it should be a girl that's worthy of going on a date it should be not it shouldn't be a girl that you don't even think that you're gonna take seriously or as a whore or something like that it should be a girl that you vet it properly and you know like okay this is a girl that i can take on a date this is a girl that will appreciate being taken on a date and this is a girl that is worthy of being on a date you know what i'm saying if you got a girl that's a 304 aka a hoe you don't take her on no date she ain't gonna appreciate no date she gonna look at you as a square and that girl she looks at him and out as a square now because he it up but it's a good learning experience man I'm, I'm sure he gonna learn from this especially once he listens to my audio program more than once he gonna be banging joints because he just said there he didn't even know that he could do that you know what i'm saying he didn't even know that he could do that so fellas if you gonna take a girl on a date man make it at let it be a date you know what i'm saying and for one the first time you're talking to a girl should be a facetime date you know what i'm saying of you getting to know her to see if she even is capable of going on a date that first facetime call you know what? i ain't even gonna get into all that y'all want to know shit like that man y'all gotta cop that vang her to the core audio program man it's some Serious game in that mother. It's serious, and I, I, I don't, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Y'all can even go on my website and look at the, the testimonials and stuff. I just got somebody else who just bought it literally maybe a couple days ago, and they was like, man, that is crazy. You know, man, if you got the bread, man, get the get the audio program. If you don't, man, don't even worry about it, man. Just get your money straight. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance, man. And if you don't know what to put in the chat, man, put that in the chat. Also, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I your boy Zay DBE and I'm out. Deuces.